has reportedly test fired its S 400 air defense system for the first time, reports, following the appearance of videos on social media, suggest that Turkey has begun live fire testing of its controversial Russian made S 400 surface to or missile system. Doing so risks provoking the wrath of traditional allies, especially the United States, which has threatened new sanctions in the past if Turkish authorities were to take this step. Video footage emerged on social media earlier today of the reported comprehensive test of the S-400 system in the country's Sinop province on the Black Sea coast. Though unconfirmed, they show narrow columns of smoke snaking into the sky over that region that do appear to be broadly consistent with S-400 missile launches that we've seen in the past. Early last week, Turkey also issued a notice to airmen, or NOTAM, alerting pilots to potential hazards in the area. This is standard procedure for a weapons test of this kind and this particular notice indicated that Sinop Airport would be closed to inbound and outbound traffic between October 6th and October 16th, due to missile fire, though it did not specifically mention the S-400 system. The first videos purporting to show the S-400 launches appeared online on the 16th. According to previous reports, which were neither confirmed or denied by the Turkish Ministry of Defense, the Turkish Armed Forces did not plan to activate the S-400 batteries, but would instead undertake tests of the equipment and the readiness of military personnel. In the past, the United States has threatened to impose sanctions on Ankara if the missile systems were formally put into service, and this may be an attempt to circumvent that. Turkey first announced that it had agreed to buy S-400S from Russia in 2017, after years of failed attempts to acquire other long-range surface to or missile systems, including the American Patriot system. Turkey began to receive its first four S-400 batteries in July 2019 and had previously indicated that the system would become operational in April 2020. If confirmed, these S-400 tests appear to be another example of a broader strategy of asserting Turkey's independent foreign policy aspirations and increasing its geopolitical influence from the Black Sea through to the Eastern Mediterranean, one that has already caused significant friction with its traditional allies.